Does anyone else feel like washing up is a never ending task? And I know we eat three meals a day or whatever, of course it's never ending, but I swear I just did the washing up and now there's more. It's my least favorite job. My least favorite chore. I do it quite often. That is a lot. When was the That's last not time? It's not a lie. I did when it yesterday. Was the last time? I did it the day before. It's not true. Why are you not telling the truth? <laughs> Comment below your least favourite chore and your favourite chore. My favourite chore is watering the plants because that's not really a chore and it's fine. I haven't seen you water plants for a long time. Wow. I last did it when you were at the gym, so that's why. With our chore talk out of the way, welcome back to a brand new video. Welcome back to a daily juice. Today we are heading to. One of our, is it our favourite, Luce? I think it is our favourite in the whole country. I think, I think. We're heading to what I think is our favourite ever shopping mall in the Philippines and we're gonna bring you guys along and show you. I'm not, I can't remember if we've vlogged in here before or not. I don't think we have. Comment below if you're an OG and I'm wrong and we have. But today we are heading to Podium, which is in Ortegas in Manila and I'm very excited every time we go here. It's a little bit of a drive out, so we don't always go, we don't go too regularly, but that is where we thought we would head today. Have a little look around, maybe do some shopping. And we wanna show you this mall on the vlog because it is stunning, it's beautiful. We've been to some incredible shopping malls all around the world. I know Dubai is known as a bit of a shopping mall heaven, and they've got some awesome ones there, but this is up there, I promise you. If you haven't been and you come to the Philippines, you have to check out the shopping mall, if that's your kind of thing, if you like shopping malls. I think it's our favorite. I think it. I think it's the one we went to in Dubai. I would say Podium's better, definitely. So we're gonna hop in the car, we're gonna head there now, let's go. see this mall is in a pretty nice area I got some huge it's a little bit like BGC around here and another thing I like is that in the Philippines you always get a security check he'll open the boot there you go always get a full Ooh, I'm close to boot. We good? <laughs> All right. we always get a full security check of the of every car that enters shopping malls thank you so we're going down into the underground parking everything about this mall is nice like the parking is easy you get a wider your pitch ramp. black you get a wider ramp than every other shopping mall that we've ever been in we're gonna get the car wash 220 that's quite good isn't it a little more car wash they don't have water down here so we don't like to do it too often we prefer getting like a proper car wash with like the soap and the water but for a quick wash just to get rid of a few bits of dust a few little marks uh 220 and we're paying at the end so we'll go for a bit of a mall day and then in a couple of hours from now, we'll come back to a sparkling clean car. So it's so handy. And the benefit of getting your car washed at the mall is it's super busy here today. But if you say yes to a car wash, they will run and find you a parking space and help you park. Run, like so, really yeah. fast. It's very, they, very helpful. They run quicker than we drive. Yeah, that's yeah. true. So let's, let's, let's head out. in. We just saw this as well. And George had to run back to the car. Where is it? In the wallet? Yeah, I've got it now. Don't forget. Your shield. The parking thing and your shield and your mask. Yeah. Some malls um, let you pay, well you pay as you drive out and you just keep the ticket in the car, but I don't know, this, most of the time I swear it's like that, but this one it says, yeah, it's, to be fair, there's signs everywhere saying it. Uh, but idiots like us often forget. It doesn't matter too much because the machine is right there. Uh, still handy. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm standing up fully straight, but I'm literally brushing against the ceiling. <laughs> right, anyway. So Lucy is just uh, entering. We have to scan a QR code for this area. It's got its own kind of app for the Mandaluyong area. It's called Mandatrack. So before we can enter the mall, we have to scan our QR code. To this mall, it feels extra special. It's very Something quiet. about it. Peaceful. Yeah, it's not even loud in here. So we 
we've come into this farmer's market now. It's like a pop-up that's here for a couple of days. And it's so nice because the sun is just beaming down onto it. And it's just so nice and wholesome is the word, I think. So one thing you notice in this mall is that they have the higher end luxury stores as well, Rolex, yeah. some other ones, some, a lot of watches. Yeah. If you want to watch, this would be the place to come. But they've also got Uniqlo, H&M, your kind of more usual clothes stores. And a ton of food options as well. So many food and options. And dessert options. Yeah, yeah, we're thinking of having lunch here. We might make a whole separate video on one of the restaurants here. Buying some new collagen. Thought I was okay till something in me changed. Don't know why. Don't worry, I'm not clothes shopping today. You got me high, but I'm sober. You make me lonely when I'm by myself. I should be free, but I'm hoping. Okay, now we can sit down, grab a coffee. You guys may now realize why why we chose to come to this mall today. They do have an Arabica, my favorite coffee shop. They've got a ton of other stuff. The restaurants are endless. I'll put a little bit of a list of restaurants here. Oh, so good. And funnily enough, two of the guys working here are the guys that we often see in BGC in Arabica, but they're doing their shift here today. So that was nice as well to see some friendly faces. Now I'm gonna say, now I've been here, I thought this morning in the intro of this video that I was gonna say this is my favorite mall in the Philippines. Now I'm here again. It definitely is. I think we love some other ones. We love SM Aura. We love some of the big SM ones when we've been traveling around. There's something special about coming here and the vet and how much stuff they've got here and how much good stuff they've got here. There's a ton of good Japanese restaurants, Chinese food restaurants, different cafes, different coffee shops, designer stores, regular clothes stores, watches, anything you can think of. It's, an, it's a world-class international level shopping mall. And I'm gonna say it on this video right here, right now, better than Dubai, or at least better than the shopping. What was the mall we went to in Dubai? We went to a pretty impressive mall in Dubai. I can't remember the name. It was by the Jollibee there. We went there when we were in Dubai in 2019. It was cool, but this is better. And I have to say that this would be the shopping mall if I wanted to flex to our family. If our family come over, say if my sister came over or something like that, I would bring her here to show her what some of the malls in the Philippines are like. For some reason, it's big, it's huge, it's got so much going on, but it's almost kind of peaceful walking around here. You could come out here for a whole day, you could do some shopping, you could get some lunch, breakfast, lunch or dinner. Just to reiterate on that point, um, yeah, it's not, it's big. <laughs> Um, it's big but it's not overwhelming it's like it is huge but it's not like when we went was it called mall of asia that is one of to be honest i'm gonna be honest it's one of my least favorite malls here because you get lost. even the guards don't know any of where anything is like you say where's this shop and they're like mm, i haven't even just started working here <laughs> like no one knows where any of the shops are so if you have like an appointment or a meeting in i don't know like a beauty place or something it's like you have an appointment at 11 you have to get there at like half 10 to make sure that you've got enough time to find it because it's literally a maze. It's great, it's varied, it's awesome that it's like one of the biggest malls in the world, but it's not as relaxing for me to go around because I just get lost. Just like that, a little bit of editing magic. We are back home. Sat in my favorite current spot to film vlog clips. I don't know why I've never filmed here before, but recently discovered it. Perfect lighting from that big window. Camera can lean now, don't even have to hold it. Really enjoyed, little half day out at the mall today. Um, it's been cloudy and a little bit rainy here, a little bit unpredictable weather at the moment. I guess that's rainy season, a little bit stormy. So we thought, go to the mall, can't go wrong. If it rains, doesn't matter. If it's too hot, we can keep cool in there. Plan for the rest of the day is to go to the gym and do some editing. 
that is what we're up to. Thanks for all your comments on the new condo vlog. A lot of you guys enjoyed that, us going around kind of giving our ideas and we have been looking through the comments for some of your ideas as well. So we are very, very excited to get going with that. We will keep you updated on the channel. Oh, I'm a little bit tired, to be honest. So we're gonna end off this vlog here. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I think we're gonna hit 520,000 subscribers soon. So that is mind blowing, absolutely crazy. So thank you to everyone who comes back day after day and watches our vlogs, hangs out with us. We appreciate you so much. So thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next one.